Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you doing? Good to nice. Good to I'm very well. Thank you very much. It's good to see you. Hi, Osmin. Good. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Fine. Nice. Thank nice. you. Nice. Very good. Yeah, it's yeah. good to see you. Yes. All right. Hi, Mayra. Rafael and Lourdes. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Good evening teacher. teacher. Good evening. Oh, we have Ada connected too. Hello, Ada. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine, teacher. Oh, nice. It's good to see you. So tell me, Thanks. how was how was your day? It was good, bad, excellent, it's good. amazing. It was it's good. good. Nice, that's excellent. What about you, Angela? How was your day? Sorry, good and? Uh, ah, a lot of work. You say a lot of, a lot of work. Uh -huh. I, I imagine the same here. <laughs> All right. Let's see, Mayra. So, Mayra, how was your day? Very good, teacher. I work from home. Oh yeah, I remember. Your work yeah. is really, your work is really nice with your family. Yeah working from the house, your own yeah. schedule. All right, interesting. Yes. All right. What about you, Lourdes? How was your day? Um, my day was very busy in my work because I do a lot of activities and, and I finish Late. Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about your day. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but today is Friday. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the most important. Today is Friday, right? right. Yeah. I, know, I know some people work tomorrow, but some people don't work tomorrow, right? Which is really good. Okay, so you have time to rest, time for, yes. family, time for family, all right? So it's it's a blessing if you don't work. Yes. And if you work, it's a blessing, right? <laughs> yes, of course. Holy. All right. Thank you for sharing, Lourdes. Hi, Jancy. Hi, teacher. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. All right. I can um, see you are. Are you connected from two devices? Ah, okay, perfect. Yeah, because I see like two different uh, screens of you. All right. Yeah, but it's okay. Don't worry. The most important is that you're okay. connected. All right. Good. Hi, Sulma. Okay, Adriana, welcome. Asalia, welcome. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? All right. So, uh, so uh, welcome everybody. Welcome to this uh, session, second session, right, of this module number six. And somebody asked me a question yesterday. Somebody asked me if uh, module six is the last module of beginners. Yeah, it's correct. Okay, I checked the the carta didactica. And yes, it's true, all right? Module six is the last module of, of beginners, okay? So that means that the next module, all right? The next module, uh, you go to intermediate English, all right? So the basic English is over and we go to intermediate English, the next, uh, the next module, okay? Así que el siguiente módulo vamos a intermedio. Este es el último módulo de principiante, okay? Is the last module of beginner, para quien preguntó. Y lo, lo siento porque me, me agarraron así como de sorpresa, no había revisado lo, lo de la carta didáctica, ¿ok? But yes, you're right, ¿ok? Tienen razón, you're right. Which is really good, of course. So, uh, welcome again uh, to this session. For today, uh, we have um, different activities. Activities in which you will practice a lot, 
Okay, so welcome. Let me pass the attendance. So please, when you listen to your name, say present, here, I'm here, I don't know, okay, but say something, okay? Ada? Present teacher. Very good. Adriana? Present. Ana Michelle? Angela? Present teacher. Asalia? Asalia Melanie, I saw Asalia Melanie connected. Ah, oh, yeah. Darwin? Present teacher. Flor? Present. Right, Flo um, let me see, let's continue here. Gloria? Here. All right, that's excellent. Carla? Margarita? Mayra? Present. Good, Miguel? Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Nelson? Ophelia? Osmin? Present teacher. Great. Rafael? Present. Thank you. Rosa? Sandra? Jansi? Present. Oh, okay. Sulma? Present. Elwin, Ingrid, Lourdes, present teacher, Oscar, and Susana. All right, very good. So, uh, so first time I pass the attendance. Uh, now let's go to today's uh, content. Okay, so uh, in today's content, we are going to study the use of would be and could be. All right. This would be a good opportunity, for example, or she would be a great candidate for the job, for the position, all right? Or she could be a good candidate for the position, okay? So we will study the use of would be and the use of could be for future possibilities, okay? So that is like the, the principle or the main cake of tonight, okay? So let's start. Uh, just before we um, start, I just have a question, like in general, right? This question is in general. Do you remember uh, what we studied yesterday? Do you remember what we studied yesterday? Ken, Kent. Ah, we studied Ken and Kent. Ver, Ken, Kent. Ken for the positive yes. and Kent for the negative. Very good. Uh, what is the idea of using Ken? Can you tell me? Good evening. Good evening, Carla. So the, I repeat the question, okay. What is uh, the idea of using can or what is the purpose of using can or can? Uh, the use is for talk about abilities. Exactly, thank you very much. When we use it in positive is to talk about abilities all right like i can dance i can play soccer i can cook i can type reports i can manage people all right abilities all right and in negative is for abilities we don't have all right like i can't speak french i can't type reports very fast, okay? So it's negative is for an ability we don't have, all right? And we can use can. I mean, we can use but, sorry, we can use but. For example, I can say, I can't speak French, but I can speak English, but, okay? Or maybe you can say, oh, teacher, um, I can't type um, fast, I can't type, fast, but I can write fast, okay? Yeah, you say you can give options like using that, okay? Or you tell me, oh, Bernardo, I can't play soccer, but I can play volleyball, 
right? For example, so we use bad to give an option or to talk about one ability we have, bad, okay? Bad is fair. Good. Uh, so um, talking about that, I remember uh, yesterday we started this conversation, right? Yeah? So please, yes. please listen to the pronunciation of the conversation and pay attention carefully. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andrea Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a good branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big project. And I am good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets. But I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Listen again, please, and repeat. But with the microphone up. Escuchemos otra vez, repitamos, pero con el micrófono apagado. With the microphone up, okay? So we have no interference. All right, let's do it. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big project. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use them? I can speak little Chinese, but I can't use spreadsheets. But I am a fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay, uh, maybe just to mention some vocabulary. Uh, qualifications are like qualities for a job, okay? Qualifications are like qualities or characteristics, positive characteristics for a job, okay? My qualifications, typing fast, for example, I can type fast, I can speak English, qualifications, okay? they are like I have, okay? Good. Now, this conversation is on page number nine. Okay, I repeat, this conversation is on page number nine, okay, on the menu, yeah? I will give you like three minutes, three or four minutes, okay? In three or four minutes, in pairs, practice the conversation, but please don't say I finish. Practice, 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 and practice, okay? O digan, ya terminé, y dejen de practicar, no. In English, the more you repeat, the better. In English, entre más repiten, mejor, okay? So please, let's go to uh, breakout rooms and practice the conversation in pairs, okay? okay? The conversation is on page number nine, okay? Page number nine. All right, let's go to practice. Are you ready? Let's 
está? Hello. Ofelia, are you ready? Hello, hello. Iniciamos, eh, Ofelia. Permíteme un rato, déjame encender el puente, hola, aunque acabo de entrar. Sin carrer. But I can use speeches, but I am fast learner. I get it. When can you start? Okay. I on, on start. Yeah. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. Where are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras? What qualification do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage small and big projects, and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using sprinches? Can you can you use them? I can speak little Chinese. But I can use a speech sheet, but I am fast learner. I get it. Can you start? When can you start? <laughs> Good. Hello, Ben. I am welcome. My name is Nelson Sanchez. No sé qué decir ahí. Again, again. <laughs> You're first. Again. You're first. Your face. Your face. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is. Sorry. Hi, Rosa. I'm sorry. You have no partner. I'm sorry about that. Let me send you to another group. So you practice in threes, okay? The microphone. The microphone, Rosa. Sorry. Okay, yes. Thank okay, you. let I'm me alone. send you to another group for you to practice in pairs, okay? okay? I will send you to room okay. number one. Okay. Okay, there you go. Teacher. Teacher. So, Gloria está... Um, and está manejando y no puede en este momento este, practicar. Ah, okay. Uh, if you want, you can practice uh, alone. The most important is that you pronounce the conversation, okay? So you can pronounce alone, no problem. Okay. Le digo, okay. Le digo a Patricia que no tengo el libro y no podemos compartir pantalla y no he llegado todavía a mi casa, pero aquí estoy, pues. No, it's okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Gloria, don't worry, okay? So, Ada, you can practice alone, okay, in the meantime, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, it's okay, don't worry, Gloria. Okay. Hello, Ben, and welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for the job? Well, I can speak English also. I can manage a small and big project. And I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheet? Can you use them? I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use a spreadsheet, but I am a fast learner. I got it. I got it. When can you start? Yes. Hello, Ben. And welcome. My name is Andre Rivera. Nice to meet you, Mr. Rivera. We are offering a manager position 
for a branch in Honduras. What qualifications do you have for this job? Well, I can speak English. Also, I can manage a small and big project and I am very good at sales. That sounds great. Can you speak Chinese? And what about using spreadsheets? Can you use can you use them? I can uh, I can speak a little Chinese, but I can use a spreadsheet, but I am a fat learner. I get it. When can you start? Teacher. Hello. Hello. Eh, yo tuve un problema antes de entrar que había entrado a otra, como a otra sesión con really? Silvio. Pero, ajá. Oh eh, my God. Pero sí, sí, solo nosotros dos estábamos. Pero alguien me, me compartió en el WhatsApp la sesión correcta, pero Silvio yo no lo veo. No sé si no se pudo conectar o no sé si usted tiene cómo escribirle a él porque... Al final yo le compartí el nuevo, la, la, la sesión, pero no, no, no lo veo conectado. Yeah, y, el, y, es, y estábamos conectados desde antes de las 7. Oh my goodness, I'm yes. sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe, um, uh -huh. no sé, did you send the information to WhatsApp? Sí, lo enviaron, pero no sé si Silvio no tenía el, el grupo de WhatsApp. Entonces, no sé si, si tiene usted contacto de él para poderle preguntar o enviarle, porque estábamos, los dos teníamos la información errónea para la clase. Ya, yeah, sí. Uh, what is, what, Silvio, what is his other name? Ay, no recuerdo, pero solo me acuerdo que era Silvio en un inicio. Silvio. Que no es el mismo Oscar, Oscar Gamero, no es Oscar. Oscar no sé está acá. I don't know if it's Oscar, maybe, but they are in the group, pero ellos sí están en el grupo. Tal vez podemos compartir la información en el grupo. Maybe you can share the information on the, on the group. Oh, Miguel shared the information, I think. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank sí, you, Melanie. Yo, yo le puse acá la, la información. Okay, thank you very okay, much. Sí, gracias. Okay, now it's on the group. All right, uh, thank you very much for practicing the conversation. Okay. Um, I'm just reading a message from... Stephanie, Adriana. Good. Okay, uh, now listen. Um, going to the next part, yesterday we studied the use of can and can, right? And here we have one ability, one activity, sorry, talking about the abilities, one activity oh, we oh, need to complete, it. okay? And in this activity, it's on page number 10, okay? This activity is on page number 10 uh, at the bottom of the page, okay? So the idea is that you write on this space, this space, the idea is, is that you write three abilities you have using I can. For example, I can about your, about your job, right? Of course, about your work, okay? You can say, for example, I can manage people or I can type quickly or I can, send emails, I can use technology, I don't know, I can use the computer, all right? So write the abilities you have about your job, okay? And write three abilities you don't have. For example, in my case, I can say, I can't use a scanner. I can't use a scanner, okay? And by now, only that, okay? So please, take like five minutes and complete the activity, please. Si tienen una fotocopia, pueden hacerlo en su fotocopia, si no en su cuaderno, okay? If not, on your notebook, okay? So let's take five minutes and let's complete. Three positive and three negative. Three abilities and three abilities you don't have, okay? Go ahead, adelante. This is on page number 10, okay? Page number 10. Creo que en la vida todo se puede dejar con la 
Uh, just keep in mind that after can, um, we use the verb in the base form, okay? I can speak, I can work, I can use, I can speak, okay? I can dance, I can type, I can manage, okay? So the verb is with the base form, okay? In the base form. You don't say, for example, I can to speak, no. I can to speak is incorrect, okay? Or I can to use, no. I can to use, it's incorrect, okay? Say I can use or I can speak. Okay, I'll give you one more minute, okay, for this activity, one more minute.
remember, uh, for the negative, you can say can't or cannot. Okay, so the two ways are possible. Can't or cannot, okay? I can't speak Chinese or I cannot speak Chinese. The two ways are possible, okay? In the negative. Okay, um, in the meantime, okay, you, you can continue working. I will just give you the instructions. So listen, if you have uh, two examples about abilities and two examples about abilities, you don't have it, okay, no problem, okay? No problem. Now listen, the idea in this moment is that we go to breakout rooms and in the breakout rooms, in the groups, okay, in your groups, you will ask your classmates about uh, their qualifications, okay? Or about their abilities. What is going to be the question? The question is going to be, what qualifications do you have, okay? Or maybe you can say, uh, what can you do very well? What can you do very well? Okay, ¿qué puedes hacer bien o muy bien? For example, imagine I am in your group and you ask me, okay, Bernardo, what can you do very well? Oh, you say, I, I say then, um, well, I can teach. Um, I can speak English. Um, I can type fast. I can um, socialize or I can speak with my students, okay, in a very good way. And I continue and I continue speaking about my abilities, okay? And the idea is that you remember, maybe you can take notes, okay? That you remember your classmates' abilities. I repeat, the idea is that after the group work, you remember your classmates' abilities, okay? And to the class, you will report your classmates' abilities, not your abilities. So if you want, Take notes. Si gustan, toman notas de las habilidades de sus compañeros, okay? If you want, take notes. So, do you have any question? No. Do you have any question? So, in case you have the photocopy, okay, in case you have the photocopy. Uh, um, yeah. Teacher. Yeah. Uh, what qualification uh... do you have? That can be one do question, have? okay? Do you have? What qualifications do you have? And your classmate oh. will say, I can use a scanner, for example. I can use technology, okay? And you will take notes on this space, okay? You will take notes on this space in case you have the photocopy, okay? In case you have the photocopy, you will take notes about, uh, on this space. And if you don't have the photocopy, Take notes on your notebook, okay? So any question? Or it's clear? Solo, ¿cómo sería la pregunta cuando es I can't? Um, in this case, the idea is that you ask only about qualifications, okay? Only about abilities. So the idea is not to use mm, negative, okay. all right? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so any other question? No? 
Okay, so if you feel that you are like me, a little forgetful, take notes. Take notes about your classmates' abilities or qualifications, okay? So let's go to working groups. I will give you like five minutes for this um, activity, okay? So please take turns asking the questions, okay? Toman turnos, okay. take turns asking the questions, yeah? Yeah. Osmin, did you have a question? No? No, it's correct, teacher. Okay, very good. So let's go to working groups. Okay. Hi, Carl. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Four stars. Me. Yo, Adriana. Okay. <laughs> Oh. Me. me first okay. and second Nelson. Okay. Yeah. My ability, uh, my qualifications. Uh, I can teach math and I can teach contability. I can um, manage uh, the human resource. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, oh, the so, social, sociality, sociality, socialize. Okay, I can. You, you, socialize. you socialize. Mm -hmm. Socialize. Mm -hmm. Yes, or you can say I can work in teams. I can work in teams, which is better. I can work in teams. Yeah. And I cannot. I speak German, for example, and other, other, other idioms. I cannot use my company machines. Okay. Okay, only. Well, uh, repeat the last, uh, the last ability. <laughs> uh, I can teach math. I teach. can uh -huh. teach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can teach. Excuse me, teach, uh, teacher and compañeras. <laughs> uh, my microphone no funcionaba. Ahora sí, verdad? Me dijeron que sí. Yes. Okay. Yes. He's working. Ahora el teacher lo veo, no lo veo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Luis, uh, <laughs> Entiendo que. Okay. Uy, ¿qué le pasa a esta cosa? Es que me he movido you de, can. de posición. Angie. You can. You ah. can swing, Angie. You can swing. Ah. Oh. Ah. I, I cannot swing. Uh, Angie, uh, you, you need to mention three abilities you have, okay? Three abilities you have using can. For example, I can swim, I can speak English, I can dance, I can use computers, okay? So the idea is that you share three abilities you have with the group, okay? The question, okay. Uh, Melanie, the question is, what qualifications or abilities do you have? Or what can you do very well? Okay, that's the question. Esas son las preguntas para poder hacer. Okay, those are the questions. 
Okay. What can you do very well? Very well, exactly. ¿Qué puedes hacer muy bien? Uh, what can okay. you do very what? well? Ah, uh, okay. Can you do? Very well. Very well. Yeah. Very well. Question. Okay. Um, uh, who is that? Chicas? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, vamos a ver. Melanie, what can you do very well? I am. Think. Think. I can. Uh, I can think. Sorry, teacher. No problem. It's okay. No problem. <laughs> um, Ophelia, what can you do? Hola. <laughs> Hello. Do you very well. Hello. And you. 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 Muy joven, pero demasiado joven. Yo le dije que era la hermana menor. No, no tengo hermana, o la hermana. ¿Qué? Yo pensé que... Uh, era, what are you well? What can you do very well? Uh, ¿Qué puede can... hacer muy bien, verdad? What? What can you do very well? What? I, I can... Um, speaking in español. Spanish. Spanish. Oh. <laughs> oh. I cannot. I cannot speak English. It's very difficult. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Yes, it's very interesting. Sorry, I, I don't hear you. You need to speak English. <laughs> yes, I need improve my English because yeah. my work... Uh, no, uh -huh. yeah, okay. nice. Nice. <laughs> Hello, teacher. We are, we are talking about uh, the the things that we can't because uh, we talk we already talk about the things that we can't. <laughs> yes. No problem. <laughs> okay. It's okay. No problem. Uh -huh. Continue. <laughs> okay. What mean you? Yes. What things uh, did you? Uh, camp. Do you camp? Uh, in my case, in my company, uh, I do you. I I do. Excuse me. I do. Um, very work. No. What do you? What do you can't do? Can't. Ah, I can't. Yes, I I, I can write fast. No, you can, but you can't. I can negative, negative. Yes, yes can. Can. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I can, I can, I can speak German. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can have the plane. You what? I I plan. 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 O sea, diferente. Qué bueno. Pero si se logran ver. Sí, sí. <ríe> Imagínense que también en la casa se vivimos juntas. Entonces salimos juntas. Vivimos juntas y así. 
o a veces vengo un poco más temprano yo y así. Porque sí, estoy más que todo trabajando en casa. Uh -huh. eh, en Darwin, uh, calificación do you have Darwin? In my case, I can At play work. basketball. Yes. Okay. Um, I can fish in the river. Fish in the in the river in the river. The river. The river. And mm -hmm. and special and can eat two. Big pizza. <laughs> eat two pizza. I can eat two pizza. <laughs> Is that qualification or no qualification? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> it is a qualification. <laughs> I is the first person I know who eats two pizzas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> really? I know. So you can fish, Darwin? Can you fish? Yes. Interesting. I like fishing. I like fishing too. Yes. In the river, in um, in the beach. Me too. Me too. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So did you finish? Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. So let's go back to the main session then. Okay. The idea, the idea, remember, the idea is that you remember and report not your abilities, but your classmates' abilities, okay? So when okay. in the main session, you will share about Darwin, for example, Sulma, you will share um, Darwin's qualifications and maybe Sandra's qualifications, right? And Sandra, okay. share Sulma's and Darwin's qualifications, okay? Not your qualifications, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So Darwin, where do you fish, Darwin? Where do you fish? Where do you fish? In the, In the river, which river? In the river. Which river? The river, Lempa. Ah, Lempa Lempa. river. With hooks, yep. con anzuelos, or con arpón? Y con atarraya. Ah. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, I repeat, uh, the idea in this moment is that you share, all right, the idea is that you share your classmates' abilities or your classmates' skills or qualifications, not your qualifications, okay? So let me see. I will close my eyes for a moment and I will think of a color. I will think of a color, okay? Color, uh, let me see, white, white. Let me see, who is wearing white? Quien anda ropa blanca, who is wearing white? Oh, Lourdes is wearing white, okay? Lourdes, uh, Osmin, right? And yes. Flor, <laughs> who else? Uh, who else? Oh, no, nah, not Sulma, right? Okay, only them, right? Yeah? Okay, so Rafael, you start. So tell me about your. Okay. <laughs> okay, Rafael, tell me about your classmates' abilities. The microphone, Rafa. Sorry. Okay. It's okay. For example, Jancy can work as a team, and she can adapt to change. And Flor can do everything. Oh my God, Flor can do everything. Yes. yes. <laughs> A specific Flor can listen. Okay. And she can give good advice. Nice. Interesting. Okay. Thank you very much, Rafa. Thank you for sharing uh, your uh, classmates' abilities. So, Flor, are you a psychologist or something? <laughs> okay, teacher. And, bueno, Rafa 
can memorize numeric codes. All right. And he cannot dance. Okay. Continue. That's Rafa and the other classmates. And Jancy is um she is can work work team. Okay, she can work in teams. She can work in she teams. She can work in teams. All right. Very and good. she cannot uh, cook. Cook. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. It's okay. All right. Thank you very much, Flor. Uh, thank you very much. So Flor is good at listening to people, right? Okay. Thank you very much. Well, that's what Rafa said. Okay. Good. Let me see uh, Lourdes. Lourdes is wearing white. Okay. She has a black, a, a white blouse, sorry. So Lourdes, tell us. Okay, okay. Uh, Rosa can manage people. All right. Uh, Rosa can type fast. Okay. And Osmin can use a photocopier. Photocopier, okay, photocopier. Thank you. And he can to run the machine. All right. He can to run or he can run? Turn on. Ah, turn on. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I he I heard to run. Ah, turn mm. on. <laughs> Only okay. that. Okay. Thank you very much, Lourdes. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Let me see other people who are wearing white. Adriana, what color is your blouse? It's white. Yes, right? It's white. No. <laughs> You're like, no, no. Okay, it's it's great. <laughs> ah, okay, no okay. problem. <laughs> <teacher, no> problem. <laughs> um, All right. Nelson and my classmate Nelson and Carla. Okay. Nelson, uh, he can teamwork and can, he can making choose the woman. Can you repeat that, please? Uh, he can making. Ma make, making. Uh, he, he can make. He can make, choose a woman. Or woman choose. How do you say this in Spanish? I don't get it. El puede hacer zapatos de mujer. Ah, all right. I, 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 I was misunderstanding, okay? He can make women's shoes. He can shoes. make. He ah, can make making, verdad? No, uh, he can make women's shoes. Women's shoes, right? Uh, he can make women's shoes. Shoes, yeah. Uh, he cannot fly. Okay. And Carla, uh, she can cooking. She can. She can use the photocopy and a scanner. Okay. And she cannot play the guitar. All and right. She cannot use a skate. Okay, thank you very much. That's excellent. And uh, just one uh, one question. Okay, you say I can cooking or I can cook. What is correct? I can, I can, I can cooking. I can cooking or I can cook. I can, I can cook. cook. I can cook, I can cook exactly. I can yes. Cook. I just it's not only for Adriana, it's for everybody. Okay, it's for everybody. When we use can, the verb next to can is only the base form. We don't put ing, all right? So I can cook, I can dance, I can listen to people, I can speak English. You don't say I can speaking. No, right? It's impossible, all right? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Adriana. Osmin, so I can see Osmin has a white shirt. Yes, Osmin? Yes. Okay, Osmin, go ahead. Okay, teacher, I, uh, I only remember a little. Um, Lourdes is good for cook and is good for playing basketball. All right. Uh, it's okay, Osmin. I mean, the, the, the sentences are okay, right? But this time, try to use can. Lourdes can. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, repeat, okay. please. Okay, L load scan uh, is can go play. for no, no, listen. You say can and the verb can play basketball, can okay. dance, can blah blah blah. Okay, continue. Load scan uh, for cook. And can cook, can cook, can cook, and can play in basketball. All right, and all this can play basketball. All right. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Osmin. So nobody sí. else is wearing white? Nadie más anda de blanco? Nobody else is wearing white? No? No, right? Flora, I think. No. Or it's... <laughs> or it's shirt. Okay, very good. Okay. Uh, all right, thank you uh, very much for sharing, okay, uh, for talking about your classmates. Just remember, we use can, when we use can, we use the verb in the base form, okay? We don't put ing and we don't put to. For example, incorrect. I can to cook is incorrect. I can to dance is incorrect. I can to speak, incorrect. I can cooking, incorrect. I can speaking, incorrect. What is correct? I can speak. I can dance, I can play, I can type, I can manage. All right, very good. Okay, thank you very much for um, helping me here. And now let's go to, um, to the next activity. But uh, before the next activity, I will stop it here. It's nine already. Ya son las nueve, así que les pasaré asistencia rápidamente, okay? So, um, Ada. Present. All right, thank you. Adriana? Present. All right. Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Azalia? Present. Darwin? Oh. Darwin, hello. What happened with Darwin? Flor? Present. Gloria? Here. Excellent. Carla? Here. Great. Margarita? Oh, Margarita is not connected, right? Mayra? Present. Miguel? Present, teacher. Good. Nelson? Present, teacher. Great. Ophelia? Here, teacher. Excellent. Osmin? Present, teacher. Very good. Rafael? Present. Good. Rosa? Present. Sandra? Present teacher. Jansi? Present. Sulma? Present. Elwin? Ingrid? Lourdes? Here teacher. Oscar? Present. Susana? Okay, very good. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, in the next part, uh, in the next part, uh, we have, okay, let me show you here. Uh, we have um, one question, okay? And listen, I, I don't know, I have this question like in general, okay? Uh, in general, I want to ask you, uh, do you um, remember the mission of your company? Or do you remember maybe some information about the mission of your company? Yeah? Or, or, or another question. Do you have a mission in your company? Or you don't have a mission? Yes, teacher. Yes, I, I think everybody has a mission in their company, right? Or alguien que no, que, eh, alguien que trabaja en una compañía que no tiene misión, which has no mission? I don't think it's possible, but... No, everybody, right? Everybody has a mission, all right? Now, uh, the idea is that you maybe, maybe you won't remember, okay, all the mission, like literally, okay? But the idea is that at least you remember, you remember some aspects, okay, of the mission of your company, okay? And based on the mission, based on the mission, all right? Y si no se recuerdan, tienen que pensar e inventar un poquito acerca de la misión, okay? You have to, to, to remember a little bit or invent 
okay? Come up with something. Good. So taking this in consideration, you will answer, you will answer these questions, okay? Question number one is, can you name three ways you personally, okay, you contribute to the company's mission? For example, if you ask me, Bernardo, uh, can you name three ways you contribute uh, to the company's uh, mission? I can say, for example, I am a teacher, right? I am a teacher. I prepare students for the future. Ah, because prepare students for the future is in the mission of my school, all right? Second, maybe second contribution, all right? Second contribution. I can say, for example, um, I teach students uh, values, okay? Like respect or confidence, security. So that, that's uh, how I contribute, okay? To the companies or to the school's mission, okay? And then I can say like, I teach them things about the real world, okay? I teach my students things about the real world, okay? About the real context, okay? Reality, right? So this is how I contribute to my company. But what about you? How do you contribute to your company's mission? So that is question number one. And you need to mention three ways you contribute to your company's mission. Number two, what benefits do you provide to your company, all right? So you working in your company, what benefits do you provide to your company, okay? So please take like five minutes to answer the question, okay, on your notebook, all right? So these questions are on page number 11, activity one. Page number 11, activity one, okay? So let's take like five minutes to answer the questions. You can do it on your notebook if you want. You just need to remember some aspects about the mission of your company, okay? And if you don't remember, maybe think about, even if you don't remember, think about how you contribute to your company, okay? Or to your company's growth. Como contribuyen al crecimiento de su compañía. Even if you don't remember the mission, okay? But don't tell me, teacher, I don't remember the mission. No, say something, okay? Write something. Osmin, hello, are you there? Hello, teacher. Osmin, Osmin, just one question. Okay, no sé si uh, se ha dado cuenta de cómo le aparece el nombre. Osmin Baires Solórzano. No, es que le aparece U80. Ajá, U8, perdón, Osmin Baires. U8, Osmin Baires. No sé por qué razón, no sé si ustedes que lo ha puesto así. No, no, este, siempre en todos los módulos hasta el quinto. Siempre Ajá. lo envié con los Min Baires, Solórzano. Ah, sí, sí, entiendo, pero es que antes de los Min Baires le aparece una U y un número 8. Oh, no, 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 no recuerdo lo puesto, habrá sido un error, pero no, no, no es correcto. Ah, ok, sí, sí, pues sí, pregunto, sí. porque si solo a usted le aparece así. Uh -huh. Tal vez ahí bueno, mañana puede, pero ah, tal puede, vez ahí puede revisarlo, tal vez, tal vez es un error de dedo, tal vez mañana puede revisar otra vez, ok, cuando se conecte. Ok. Hey. Okay, okay, thank you, teacher. All right.
Uh, in the in the on the second question, which is about the specific the specific benefits uh, you bring to your company, maybe you can you can use can, all right? For example, you can say um, I can make payrolls, for example, or I can I can sell many products in one day. I don't know, all right? So these are benefits you bring to your company, okay? Or if you are if you work in human resources, you can say maybe I can select. Um, good candidates for job positions, okay? I don't know what, what your job position is, all right? So you can use I can for question number two, okay? What benefits do you bring to your company? Or do you provide is the question, okay? What benefits do you provide to your company? So you can use I can. You can say, for example, I can translate English documents, okay? Or I can pass information from Spanish to English. Yeah. Oh, while you are working, mientras están trabajando, while you are working, please, uh, the same, okay? Me hacen el mismo favor en el grupo de WhatsApp, okay? Eh, escriben su nombre, por favor, okay? Escriben su nombre completo, write your full name, okay? For example, you can say, I am Adriana Stephanie Martinez, okay? So I can identify your number, okay? Para que yo de igual manera siempre pueda identificar su número de teléfono. Cualquier cosa le escribo ahí directamente, okay? For everybody, this is for everybody. And also it's important so the new students get to know us, okay? And we get to know the new students or the new participants. Teacher, only yeah. name. Yeah, only the only name. name. Yeah, only the name. Okay, your full name. Okay. The idea is to identify your cell phone number, okay? So any question I have, so I text you directly. I'll give you uh, two more minutes for this activity. Is, is that enough? Es suficiente, dos minutos? Are two minutes enough or you need more time? No, it's okay. Okay, so two more minutes.
Teacher, micro, microphone. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my God, we'll explain again. So uh, basically question number one is, can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Contribute. 
contribute. What specific benefits do you provide to your company? Okay, very good. Uh, so the idea is that now you ask and answer the questions, okay? And for this, if you don't have the answers like completely, at least share the information you have, okay? At least share the information you have, okay? So please take turns asking and answering the questions, okay? Tom and Turnos, take turns. So we will go to breakout rooms to practice the questions, okay? So please take turns, Tom and Turnos, take turns. All right, let's go to practice for four or five minutes. Okay, let's go to practice. Sí. Yes. Um, can you ask me or only say? It? No. Uh, um, other people ask you. Um, okay. me está cargando libre para. Okay. Ya tengo la pregunta. Si quieren la leo. Ah, vaya. Yeah. Okay. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company mission? Okay. I try to do my job with quality in my case. And I use a resource appropriately. Así se dice. Appropriately. 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 I appropriately. use resource appropriately. Yeah. Okay. And I make my job with love, very love. <laughs> the mission. <laughs> okay. Okay. And the other question. Um, what specific benefits do you provide to your company? Okay, I can collaborate with other areas for my experience and I can teach my work on other co-workers. Okay. Okay, and ask you to Jansi. Okay. Okay. You name three ways you contribute to the mission of the company, Jensi? Yes, the first question. Okay. I apply the accounting knowledge accurate. Uh, I put ethical values into Harmony. Harmony, Sarah? Uh, harmony. Harmony. Ah, sí, sí, harmony. Es que parece. Oh, es que harmony. me equivoqué. Entonces, es H, harmony. Uh -huh. Keep the harmony. harmony. Ok. Um, ¿Azale? A mí me dejaron de última. ¿vale? Porque me veía el pinche. Okay. <laughs> ya todo planeado. Thank you. Um, my company, I can help, I can contribute, contribute in supporting inconditionality yeah. in their projects. Yeah. Sí. Um, in the case dedicating in my myself to my work and contributing ideas um, in taking care of the resource and sharing their mission and their project okay. 
Eh, teacher and classmate. Eh, sorry, pero hoy se me tengo que retirar, teacher. Con, con el mensajito que le puse. Niñas, así que las dejo. Las veo mañana. Los veo mañana. Muchas gracias. Ok, take care. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. And, and we say what do we do? Yeah, it's it's very it's very de, delicado, delicate, no sé, I don't know. It's very delicado. I don't know. <laughs> what do you wanna and say? Delicado. But uh tell me the context of the word. Oh when when we made mistakes to to this this dispatch dispatch mm, maybe uh, to dispatch uh -huh. maybe you can say uh, uh -huh. we have maybe we have you, you can say sorry we have to be careful oh yes we yeah have to be careful yeah because to, in this case you can say delicate but delicate is it has another meaning okay or another intention ah, okay. yeah the intention ah, okay. is different ha yes Mm -hmm. We have to be very carefully. That's right. Careful. It's better. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Careful. We have to be very careful uh, taking the product because sometimes one letter, one letter change the product. And we made mistakes in dispatching uh, the wrong product. And that's, that's the, the reason because we have to be careful. Okay, that we, I asked, I answered the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks. Um, what about you, Ada? The microphone, Ada, the microphone. The microphone. Ada. I help the company get to work on time. And... Um, Collaborating in any area and respect each of my coworkers. Respect your coworkers. Oh. Mm -hmm. And you remember the mission of the company. Uh, Ada Patricia? Yes, do you remember the mission of the company? A little, a little mission. The mission, the mission of your company. Um, but uh, recuerdas algo de la misión? De la misión del de la empresa, Ajá, ¿verdad? De la company. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá. Este sería. El, la, es que ahí es a donde yo me la empresa da o la que yo le doy a la empresa ¿verdad? No, it's about the, ben, the I mean, if it's the second question it's about the benefits uh, mm -hmm. you provide to your company, okay? I mean mm -hmm. your work, by doing your work, what are the benefits? And in question number one um is about uh, three ways you contribute to the company's mission. So that's why mm -hmm. Rosa is asking, por eso estaba preguntando Rosa si recuerda la, la misión, if you remember the mission. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't remember. Okay, I guess uh, everybody is back. Um, Oscar, can you do me a favor? Hi, Oscar. Hi. Can, can you do me a favor, please? A favor? Yeah, a favor. Can you do me a favor? Okay, favor, uh, color? No, uh, no, 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 I mean, no, no, not favorite. I need a favor from you, okay? I want you okay. to tell me, I want you to tell me a vowel, any vowel, tell me a vowel. Una vocal, any vowel, can be okay. A, E, ah, O. Vowel. Okay, letter U. U, let me see, letter U, let me go here to letter U. Oh my God, nobody's name starts with letter, letter U. 
U, U. You said U, e. let me see. Ah, e. e. Letter yes. E, thank you very much. All right, let me see. E, Elena, right? Rosa Elena, first participation. Let me see here, let me continue. E. But it's not, but it's not my first name. <laughs> no, but, but, I didn't, <laughs> but I didn't say first name, e. I just said letter E. My God, <laughs> my God. <laughs> Elgardo, okay. Elgardo, participation number two. Okay, so Elena is number one, Elgardo is number two, Darwin. Ernesto, all right, <laughs> Rafael Ernesto is participation number three. And let me continue here. Let me continue. Yes, just them, right? Let me see. Oh, Hernandez has H, back on, back on H. Okay, Hernandez is with H. All right, so let's listen to Rosa. Afterwards, Darwin, and finally, Rafael, okay? So please, um, Rosa, uh, question number uh, one. Can you name three ways you contribute to the company's mission? Okay, uh, if we, if I am talking about the mission of the company, I remember, I, I, I think that I remember the mission that is offering products and service to satisfy the clients. Okay. And that well, in that way, in that way, I contribute to the mission. Uh, in my case, because I work to the in the in the warehouse, uh, we have to prepare the the orders the order sales in a short time, because sometimes the clients arrive to the to the company. Because we have a, how do you say sala de venta feature? I don't remember, I forget. A sales okay. department? Maybe? Oh yeah, sala de ventas, okay. We have a, yeah, we have a sales department, department inside the company. There are two persons, uh, two people, two people, yeah. There are two people uh, attending the client. Yeah. And they call, the, they call us and say, I need, uh, I need two cameras, and well, whatever there is a re re required requirement mm -hmm. that uh, bring uh, uh, how can I explain? There is a requirement, and and we uh, we have to prepare. We, okay. we need we have to prepare in a short time, in a short time because the client is is waiting for. But we have to be careful careful because uh, sometimes we can make mistakes because uh, there are products similar, but one ah. letter changed the, one letter in the code changed the, the product. But there, there are sometimes that we make mistakes because we are running and we, we have to, we, we, we take the products to the sales and in that moment we say, we, we, okay. Uh, we get notice, I think. We get notice that yeah. we made mistake. Yeah, oh. that we get the mistake, and the way that uh, I, we have to contribute to the mission is doing the, doing the, doing the things good and careful. All right, and very because, good. Because okay, the that's... client is going to be upset if we make mistakes. Okay, so basically what you're saying is that it's very easy to confuse uh, some products, right? Because yeah, of the of the letters. Easy. Okay, excellent. Yeah, Thank you very yeah. much. So uh, what okay. benefits uh, do you provide to your company? What benefits? Yeah, what specific benefits do you provide to your company? Um, in my case, uh, I have to, I have, I have to actualize update. Update. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have to I have to update the system uh, in every moment because I process the, the information and if the process isn't update updating, uh, the personnel that is sailing is sales, is sales is something can see one product that doesn't exist, doesn't exist because uh, the, how can, how can I explain? 
no, okay, whatever. But my mission or my my benefits that I provide to the company, it's it's updating the system. Okay, I see. All right, thank you very much, Rosa. Okay, Rosa, can you okay. ask uh, Darwin, Darwin the questions, please? Okay, Darwin, can you Hello. name? Okay, Darwin, can you name three ways uh, you contribute uh, to the company's mission? In my case, for example, uh, first, fabricate product the best quality. Second, I speak very well of my company. And third, don't, don't steal my company product. <laughs> question number two, Rosa. Yes, uh, question number two. What specific benef benefits do you provide to your company? Uh, for example, I can I can analyze reports of the production. Um, I can arrive early to work. Um, I can deliver result the cost of the production. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very okay. much, Darwin. Okay, thank you very much. I can see Rafael change his middle name. <laughs> <laughs> he put a letter H in Ernesto. Can you see that? <laughs> Can you see that Rafael Ernesto with H? Ernesto with H. Interesting. <laughs> That's very interesting. All right. Okay. So, but anyways, okay, Rafael. So, uh, Darwin, can you ask Rafael the questions, please? <laughs> okay. Uh, Rafael, can you name three ways you contribute? to the company mission? Okay. The mission focus of part operative, but about part administrative, in my case, I help a student with administrative procedures and keep track of uh, cost and expenses of the university and prepare a report of incomes from YouTube payment. Teacher, how do you say colegiatura or oh, matricula? I don't know. Sorry, how do you say? Colegiatura or matricula? Um, let me remember, I, I knew the word. Let me, let me remember. Uh, maybe you can say, let I me have, check. I, I have two, two, tuition. Ah, tuition. Yeah, tuition. It's tuition. 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 Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Darwin, can you ask the second question, please? Okay. What specific benefit do you provide to your company? Basically, I prepare financial information for the board of director so that they can make decisions. Okay, thank you very much. Now, please, everybody, okay, everybody, can you please um, give thumbs ups for the participations? All right, can you give them thumbs ups? Podemos darles like a los que participaron. Can you give them thumbs up, please? Okay, let's do it. Thumbs up. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you very much for your uh, participations. All right, thank you. I would like everybody to participate, but we have to go to the next activity, okay? Good. So listen, uh, in the next activity here, uh, we have a short um, conversation, all right, here. And the conversation, if you have the manual, is on page number 11, okay? So let's see. Uh, Rafael, are you there? Rafael? Yes, yes. are you there? I, I, we haven't heard your voice today. Okay, Rafael and Carla. Okay, Rafael, uh, can you uh, take Andre uh, roll and Carla, you take Kurt's role, all right? And let's listen to them. 
Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the cell area? Pretty comfortable, Sears. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I, I could be of great help helping large projects. All right, thank you very much. Uh, now let's listen to Lourdes and Mayra. Lourdes, you are Andre, and Mayra, you are Kurt, okay? Okay. Okay. Kurt, how comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Pretty comfortable, sir. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I could be a great help in large projects. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's listen uh, to Sulma and Jansi. Sulma, Andre, Jansi, Kurt. Okay. Uh, Kurt, how com comfortable do you feel working in the sales area? Hello. Hola. Yeah. Hello. It's Ulma, right? Yes. Uh, okay. And Jansi? All right. So uh, I think Jansi had problems. Jansi, can you say it, please? Hello. Hello. Ready? Yes. Okay. Go ahead. Adelante. Pretty comfortable. Okay. Pretty comfortable here. With my experience, I can say this will be a great opportunity. I am sure about that. Look, can you bring to this company as an employee? I will be a great asset, asset in the company because of my experience in the construction industry. It sounds great. Yes, and because of my experience as a manager, I will be of great help in long projects. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, maybe uh, for everybody, not only for the people who participated, okay? So the pronunciation for this word is comfortable. Comfortable, comfortable all right, comfortable. Comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. And maybe in some parts of the US, you will hear comfortable, but it's not very common, okay? Comfortable is not very common. The most common is comfortable, comfortable, all right, comfortable. Very good, okay, now listen. Uh, based on the conversation, all right? Based on the conversation, we have two questions, okay? But I care mostly about one of the questions, okay? So let's see. Uh, question number uh, one is, what would be some benefits of having Kurt in the company? What do you think? What would be some benefits of having or contracting Kurt in the company? According to the conversation, what would be some benefits? He's a good asset. He's a good asset, that's right. Why is he a good asset? Because he has experience. Ah, because company. he has experience in construction, okay? In the construction industry, okay? Industry, it says industry, all right, industry. All right, 
Yes. All right. Very good. Now, I will uh, turn this off and I have a general question, okay? Uh, what is the conversation about? What is the conversation about? De qué trata? What is the conversation about? What is the context of the conversation? Uh, about, about new the... employees. New okay, okay, let's listen to Oscar first and then mm -hmm. we listen to Sandra. Okay, Oscar first and then Sandra. Okay, uh, Kurt is a new employee. Okay. Yes, and they talk about his job. All right, so they're talking about a job, okay? A job opportunity, we can say. All right, thank you very much. Okay, Sandra? Uh, yes, uh, new employees about uh, obligation or abilities to work, position. Okay. Yeah, yeah, all right. That's right. So it's basically about new employees, right? Very good. Now, next question. Uh, in which area does Kurt work? According to the conversation, in which area does Kurt work? The new employee, right? Kurt is a new employee. In which area does he work? Sales. Sales he work area? Ah, exactly. He works in the sales area. That's correct. He works in the sales, sales area. In the sales area. Does he feel comfortable? Does he feel comfortable? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, he does. He says pretty yes. comfortable. Yes, he comfortable. feels comfortable. That's right. Uh, what do you think is Andres' position in the company? What do you think is Andres' position in the company? Mm. Use your imagination. Manager. Manager. Maybe human he's, resources. that's manager. right. Maybe he works in human resources. Maybe he is a manager. Maybe he is a supervisor. Okay, because he's like trying to give some instructions to the new employee. That's right. Okay, thank you very much. But now listen, the, the, the most important question, the most important question here is this. This question, okay? And I will highlight it here because it, this is very, let me share it here. Let me share with you. Uh, this is the most important question on this part. Okay, hold on a second. Okay, it's this one. Okay, do you consider that experience is important for a new job, right? For a new job. Do you consider that experience is important? Why yes. or why not? Why or why not? Yes. Okay, so please. Okay, I know you want to debate right now. I know you want to debate right now because probably some people will say yes and some people will say no all right so take two minutes and think take two minutes and think all right uh, okay don't tell me the answer in this moment think and try to formulate your answer all right think and try to formulate your answer do you consider experience is important why or why not okay piensen y formulen bien su respuesta think and formulate your answer very well <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold your horses. <laughs> hold your horses. <laughs> in the meantime, I will pass you the attendance. Okay, mientras tanto les pasaré asistencia. In the meantime, I will pass you the attendance. Ada? Present. Adriana? Anna Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Asalia Melanie? Present. All Good right, night. thank you. No, not yet. Continue, continue formulating your answer, okay? Continue thinking about your answer because right now we will have a debate. Yes, teacher. Vamos a tener un pequeño debate en ese momento, okay? We'll have a little debate. Darwin? Present. Flor? Present. Gloria? Gloria is not connected. Gloria, hello. Are you there? Okay. Carla? Here, teacher. Margarita? 
Mayra? Present. Very good. Miguel? Present teacher. Nelson? Present teacher. Ofelia? Here teacher. Osmin? Here teacher. All right. Uh, Rafael? Present teacher. All right. Rosa? Present. Sandra? Sandra? Jansi? Present teacher. Present o teacher. O okay. Jansi? Present. Okay. Very good. Sulma? Present. Teacher Gloria, here, please. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I will put it here. Edwin? Ingrid? Lourdes? Yes, teacher. Present. Okay. Oscar? Present. And Susana? Present, Susana, teacher. Okay, yeah, she was connected. All right, are you ready? Are you ready for your answer? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. Yes. Now, now let's see. Some people we haven't heard today. Let me see. I haven't seen Angela participating very much today. Angela, do you consider experience is important? Uh, depends. Yeah, tell us more. It depends on uh, what? Uh, for example, when I need for a manager position, uh, yes, uh, enough um, when there are other people with um, uh, people who can help or the contribution to the a classmate. Oh. Okay, thank you very much. So according to your opinion, it depends, right? If it's a manager, depends. yes. Yes, all right. Thank you very much, Angela. Susana, okay. what do you think? Thank you. Susana, what do you think? <laughs> Susana, hello. Hi. What do you I think? You very well. <laughs> all right, excellent. Uh, so what do you think? Uh, do you consider uh, experience is important? Really, really, I think it's, in my case, is very important. Okay, why? Because I am, I am, como digo, que he logrado? I have achieved, maybe, I have achieved. I have achieved many opportunities. Okay. For your experience. In my work. Yes. Okay, good. But but now uh taking okay, let's not talk about you, Susana. Let's talk about a new employee, a new person working, okay, a new person in the company. Do you consider uh experience is important for this person, for this new employee? Yes, I think it's important because the person new can puede aportar. Uh, maybe you can say uh, can provide. Okay, I can provide very change positive to the company. Okay, very good. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you very much, uh, Susana. Thank you. Thank you for your opinion. Okay, now let's go to another person who hasn't participated today. Ada, yeah, Ada, all right. Ada, what do you think? Um, for me, it's important. Okay, because why? Because by having experience in a certain job, you can perform and develop better in the area in which you were hired. Okay. Yes, it's true. Okay, excellent. I like the opinion. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ada. Ophelia, what do you think? I haven't heard Ophelia today in public. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What do you think, Ophelia? Uh, it's important in 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 a in a report in the in quantity. Okay, so it's important for you. It's important when writing a report. I mean, experience is important when writing a report. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much, Sandra. What do you think? Uh, yes, 
is important. It's important why can can better better these sales on moon. Okay, very good. So they can have better sales. Okay, uh, during the month. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, excellent. Uh, Ana Michelle, what do you think? Uh, in my case, I think that in some cases, yes, it's important because if it is a job where important decisions have to be made for the company, I think that not every everyone can take that positions. Yeah. Uh, what about if it's a, a job that is not like very important? I mean, all the jobs are important, right? But a manager's position is important because he is in charge of many people, okay? But yes. what about um, a common job, like a, an ordinary job, an ordinary job? Ordinary. Is it important? No, yes What's or no? Important? No. No, it's not so important. No. All right, yeah. very good. So experience is not important in this case. Ordinary is like common, okay? A common job, a regular job, okay? Okay, thank you very much. Ana Michelle, thank you. All right, so um, maybe here answers can vary, right? Answers can be different. It depends on your, perce on your perception or your point of view, all right? And it's okay, no problem. All right, thank you very much for your participations, okay? Let's give them thumbs up. Demosle like a las participaciones. Let's give them thumbs up. Thank you very much for your participation. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, now, we still have uh, two minutes. I just want to uh, explain something quickly, okay? Something quickly. Now, listen, um, I want you to pay attention carefully here. Look, um, the, 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 the main part here is uh, that we use Okay, hold on a second. That we use um, would be and could be, all right? So would be and could be is to talk about or to give impressions uh, of possibilities in the future. And we have one example. I would be a great asset or a great employee, a great candidate, okay? I would be a great candidate. Oh, it's a future possibility, right? I would be, all right, so you say would be. Second example, I could be of great help in the sales department, future impression or possibility, all right? I could be, so the, the idea is in future, okay? So now let's see example number one. I would be a great asset. Asset is like employee. How do you say the first sentence in Spanish? I would be a great asset, asset, sorry. How do you say this in this sentence in Spanish? I would be a great asset. Ah, sería un buen empleado. Sería un buen empleado. So the idea is future, right? Yeah, the idea is in future. Very good. Usted podría, usted podría ser teacher. No, in this case, no. Sería. Sería in this case. Sería because we have good. Now let's look at the second example. I could be of great help in the sales department. How do you say this in Spanish? Podría ser. Ah, yo podría ser. De gran ayuda. En el departamento de ventas. Ah, in this case, we can say podría ser. Yo podría ser de gran ayuda. I could be. So, would be and could be. Yes, the idea is to speak for a future possibilities, all right? For future possibilities, all right? Yeah, so that's the idea of would be and could be. And it's important to say, sorry? Good is uh, uh, affirmation. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the two of them are positive, all right? If you want to say negative, you say I wouldn't, okay? I, yeah. I wouldn't, or uh, in the other case, I couldn't, I couldn't be, okay? I couldn't be of great help in the sales department, for example, in the negative, okay? What is the difference, teacher? Uh, there is no difference. The idea is the same. If you ask me, the idea is the same. If you say I would be a good asset, you can say I could be a good asset, and it's the oh, same okay. purpose. It's the same purpose. 
as okay. far as I know, right? Yeah. Okay, very good. Uh, we are going to leave these sentences for tomorrow because we have no more time, okay? And I don't want to take your uh, your time, all right? Good. So um, I don't know if you have any question until here about the class. Do you have any question? No? No. No, everything okay. Everything tomorrow. okay. Tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> good night. So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So far, so good. Teacher. Questions for tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so, who is who is in the one-on-one -on -one session today? Who has the one-on-one -on -one session today? ¿Quién tiene la sesión uno a uno hoy? <laughs> Qué rápido Nobody. se les olvidó. My goodness. Nobody. 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 Me parece que ahora está Adriana. No era Adriana que había cambiado con alguien. No. Sí. 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 A Rafael. Margarita fue la que cambió. Ah, Rafael. Margarita con Gloria, parece. Ah, Rafael cambió con, con Adriana. Rafael, ¿tú cambiaste con, con Adriana? Yes. So you, okay, so you stay today, please. All right, so everybody, thank you very much for connecting. I'll thank see you, you tomorrow. You. Goodbye, good thank night, you. and sweet good dreams. Night. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Happy weekend. You too, thank you. Teacher, tomorrow is Saturday. Yes, I, I almost, se me había olvidado realmente. I had forgotten totally. No, oh my God. Pensé, yo pensé que era miércoles mañana. We have, we have to take our rest, teacher. Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay. okay, good bye night. Bye-bye. Vamos a, okay, ya salió Ophelia ahorita. Okay, Rafa, so this space is for you. I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> I don't know that to talk about, but because, como digo, apenas es segunda sesión. Barely, barely, It's barely the second session. For me, it's better have this session, the last class, because. I am not the do doubt doubt the doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but maybe uh, in this case, I know, I know, and I get your point. Okay, uh, maybe in this case, uh, maybe you want to know about something like maybe not about the class, maybe about something that you are interested in or a topic that you are interested in, so we can discuss okay. it. anything about vocabulary or something, I don't know, or pronunciation or, I don't know, you tell me. For example, eh, ah, okay, ahora la palabra que, proced, procedimientos, pros. Ah, okay. Uh, this, uh, the pronunciation is procedure, procedure. 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 Uh, procedure, procedure. Procedure. Yes, and in plural is procedures. Procedures. Yeah, procedure. It's like like the, the sound is like j, 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 j. Procedure, j. Procedure, procedure. Yeah, yeah it's like j, j, j. Okay, procedure. You got it? Yes, thanks. All right. Como, como tal en, en inglés no está, no existe la lo de agu, palabras agudas, graves y la verdad. Yeah, in in English, may, maybe exactly you don't put like la tilde like in Spanish, right? But we have a stress in English. A stress is like what we call in Spanish la mayor fuerza de voz, así le decimos en español. Existe de hecho, pero no existe la tilde en sí. Ok, o palabras agudas, etrújulas, o ah, nada de eso, ok. Lo que sí existe es el stress. Por ejemplo, en qué palabra, en qué sílaba, 
la palabra es pronunciada de forma más alta, okay, eso se llama stress. ¿Dónde la palabra lleva el stress o la mayor fuerza de voz? Pero no, no se identifica como algún término, así como la está. No. O sea, no, no. O sea que pura memoria para saber una palabra. Yes, it's like by, basically, básicamente es familiarizándote con la pronunciación de las, de las palabras. No hay como una regla de que estas son graves, estas son edrújulas, estas son bla, 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 que no recuerdo los demás términos porque los vi hace tiempos. Ajá, entonces este, no hay como una regla a seguir, sino que básicamente es a través de ir escuchando el idioma, a través de ir escuchando, te, te vas familiarizando con la pronunciación de las palabras a través de la práctica uh -huh. y con el estrés, por supuesto. Uh -huh. Comfortable, comfortable. Uh -huh. Comfortable. Other, other words that I, I say or I pronunciation, university. Ah, is university. Ah, University. Okay. Ajá, son, okay. básicamente aquí si, divi si dividimos las sílabas, tenemos University. University. El estrés va en sí. Univer I mean, in, in ver, en ver. University. University. Say it, please. For, ex for example, under, under, understanding o... Oh. Understand. En este caso va en la última. Understand. Understand. Understanding. Uh -huh. Desconocido. Unknown. 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 Understand. What is the pronunciation? Ah, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm confused now. Desconocido. Uh -huh. uh, unknown. Unknown is desconocido. Un unknown. What, what about the the understand un, understanding ah but, but that's different okay ese es entender o ah okay ajá uh -huh. understanding ajá uh -huh. uh, en okay. este caso ven la última understanding understanding okay understanding ya yeah. normalmente como en español a veces lo hacemos en inglés tal vez si si vamos a algunos libros Va a aparecer de la siguiente manera. Te lo voy a dibujar acá, por ejemplo, la palabra. Vaya, imagínate, a veces va a aparecer así. Vaya, tenemos la palabra. Vaya, understanding. Esta es la palabra que me dice, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya, en algunos libros va a aparecer así. Aquí aparece un puntito en la primera sílaba. Un puntito en la segunda sílaba. Ajá, ahora si pronunciamos la palabra understanding, ¿en cuál lleva mayor fuerza de voz? ¿En ten o en din? Understanding. 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 En ten, ¿verdad? Yes. Ten. Ajá, entonces aquí el puntito es más grande. Y aquí le baja un poquito, in. Es un poquito más pequeño. Ese puntito representa como la... Digamos, no es que lo va a tener en las palabras en sí, de forma escrita, pero en algunos libros lo diferencian así para hacer esa vértica y llega la, ahí lleva, perdón, la mayor fuerza de, de voz. Uh -huh. Teacher, algún, do, uh -huh. do you know a book, a book for children? About? Um, for learning English. Um, for example... How silabario? Or, mm. or what type of silabario? But in English. Uh -huh. No, in English I only know the dictionary and textbooks. Tal vez algunos textbooks, okay, como libros tales como el Top Notch o el New Interchange o el Solutions, diferentes libros en inglés para aprender inglés. Tal vez serían libros de texto en este caso, pero no hay así algo como un silabario. For, for mm, a, los, a los niños en inglés les enseñan a través la pronunciación se las enseñan a través de phonics se llaman phonics que les enseñan como los sonidos reales de las palabras ajá entonces vaya si, si yo te quiero pronunciar que la palabra dime una palabra en inglés apple apple ok vaya o lo voy a poner aquí más, más fácil para que se entienda mejor. Vaya, imagínate. 
Voy a borrar acá. Oh my God, I don't find the eraser here. Okay, imagínate, imagínate que tengo la palabra cheat. All right, cheat. Okay, este sonido es I. Eso es un phoneme en inglés. I, cheat. Okay, aquí también puedo identificar otro sonido que lleva lo mismo. Okay, aquí lleva ahí también feet, cheat, feet. Es el mismo sonido. Ok, o puede ser también beat. Ok, es el, mismo, es el mismo sonido. Entonces eso se llama phonemes. Ok, phonemes. Entonces lo que, hace con los, lo que hacen con los niños es que les dan una variedad de estas palabras para que vayan familiarizándose con los sonidos reales de las palabras. No, 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 el, no en sí el abecedario, sino los sonidos reales de las palabras en el contexto. Eso se llama phonics. Uh -huh. Ok, teacher. Thanks yeah. for the time. Okay, it's okay, no problem. Uh, en internet puedes encontrar materiales de phonics, okay, para, para estudiar pronunciación que también puede funcionar para, para aprender pronunciación de palabras, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Good All night. right, okay, thank you for connecting. Good night, take care, and, and yeah. ¿Cómo está su nombre? Bernardo Martínez Segovia. Bernardo. Edwin. ¿Perdón? Elvin Bernardo. No, usted es no, no. Bernardo. No, solo un nombre tengo yo, solo Bernardo. Bernardo ah, Martínez Segovia. Es que en la planilla hay un Elvin Bernardo Martínez, creo que es, y digo yo, pero, no, pero el teacher no. <ríe> no, no, no. Sepa, pero sí estuvo tiempo completo, ¿no? Sí, estuve en tiempo. Planilla. Sí, estuve tiempo completo en do, de 2016 a 2018. Ah, ok. Sí, sí, pero fue ya, ya días. Creo que sí estabas tú ya. Yo recién entré en 2018, en febrero. Ah, ah, entonces entraste después de que yo, yo. Yo salí en enero de 2018. Ah, ok. Entonces yo saliendo y tú entrando. Thank you, teacher. Good All night. right, thank you. Good night. Have a good weekend. Thanks. All right, goodbye.